Hey, what's up guys? Michael Douglas, Douglas Lawn Care here. Hope you guys are having a better day than me. I just was out back mowing with my uh, Xmark Laser Z and must have ran over something. And you know what? By gosh darn it, I have a flat tire. So just wanted to hop on here and make a quick video and show you guys how to plug this tire. But that little gash right there is all it took. If you guys can hear that or not, but the air is coming right out of that. This is just a simple slime set that I have. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if I can find it on Amazon. Uh, but mainly what we're gonna have here is our rubber cement, um, our plugs right in here. Uh, let's put the plug, well, we don't need to get that out. We have this, uh, this guy right here, which we probably won't end up needing. We're gonna have our burring tool right here and this tool right here to put our plugs in. We're just gonna take the burring tool, go in and out a couple times just to score up um, the side of this hole so we can put the plug in there um, and make some ridges so the cement and the plug can adhere to the side of uh, the tire. So let's see if we can pop this guy in here. I just want to go in and out a couple times to make that hole a little bit bigger. Okay, now she's coming out pretty fast. So these plugs have been in my trailer for a while, and as you guys can see, they're kind of melted a little bit, so I really, really hope this works. Because they don't look like they're in the best, um, the best condition to plug this tire. So now we're gonna take this tool right here and take our plug, flatten it through, push it through the hole, and we're gonna pull it halfway through. Next, what we're gonna do is fold this backwards, and you're only gonna wanna put this plug about halfway in the hole. Okay, so we got it right here. And it's like, it feels like it's almost melting together. Okay. Now you want to take your rubber cement and just put this rubber cement on this plug. You don't need to go too crazy with it. Just You just want to get it pretty good. Some kits don't have rubber cement. Um, I would highly recommend getting a kit that does have rubber cement. So our hole is right here. We're going to push this into our hole halfway through. Now this can be a pain in the butt sometimes to get this plug in, although this one is going right in. Okay, now that the, your plug is in there, um, you want to take this and hopefully this works. You want to pull it out pretty fast. So we're going to take it and pull it and it should release just like that. So now the plug is in there. Um, you can cut this. There's a lot of rubber cement on here right now. I probably will end up cutting this later, um, but I probably want that rubber cement too dry. So I'm going to uh, right now uh, let this sit for a minute or two and then fill it up with air and see uh, if this plug has um, held. I'm going to flip the key here and put the air through it and see what happens. The next step guys is I'm going to take some snips and cut this plug so it's flush with uh, the tire. So hopefully this video does help you guys out. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description below to my slime plug kit. Very, very cheap and I do highly recommend that you keep it in your, if you're a lawn care guy, in your trailer or just keep one on hand because you are going to run over something, whether it be a screw, a nail, piece of wood whatever like i said this was not the video i planned on making today but hopefully it helps you out there uh if it does hit that like and subscribe button michael douglas Douglas lawn care god bless see you guys in the next one take care bye